Here's the mango stains. These all look pretty right. I go for the ones with dark purple. If they're like that, they're not ready. We've got the scale on them, they're ready as well. That's, I like the scale. It's doing a bit more consistent. The scale is good. The yellow stuff on the bottom, so it's a pesticide, it's just a natural sap. Yeah, it's just a natural sap and mango stain, totally fine. Sometimes you see it inside the fruit, no worries. Still the ants on here. That's a good sign that yeah, things don't get sprayed. So if they do ripen off the plant, so if they like that, they'll ripen in a couple of days. If you want to eat them now, they to be like little purple cannonballs. Or like scaly looking. They're really tasty. And so I open them, I just put them in my hand like that and squeeze. And squeeze. Some people use their fingernails to break them open, you get your hands a bit dirtier. So I just use like the crab pincer, crab claw. And you just pop some wide open and in your mouth. Occasionally you get a bad one, that's alright. But again, you have a sweet one, then look at the skin. Study the skin, what it looked like when you had a good one. Or doggy dogs. The smaller uh, ones will have less seeds on them. That's right. So it's good that there's ants on here. Never complain about the ants. I want to get pesticide out and start spraying stuff. I'm a friend who bought a bag of mango steams that's full of ants. He brought it back to the ladies. She said, no worries, no problem. Just started spraying it. And tied it back up and gave it to him. I don't want that. She's like, well, you don't want ants. Like, I don't understand. Ants are gone. They're dead now. So never complain about bugs in Asia. Even if you buy a drill and it's full of worm or something, don't take it back. Just throw it. Because they'll go, okay, we're going to spray more. They'll bring the farm up and say, hey, spray your food more. There's too many bugs in it. So you never, ever complain about bugs on your food. Just don't take it back. Just, just put it in the bushes. Yeah, it's also bug type pickles. Yeah. Just chuck it in the bushes. Yeah, if you want, they don't taste like that. And these are the oranges and som, they call them som. The orangey colour, pretty sweet, not much smell, but uh, that's pretty good. The mango seems not really go crazy on what I'm here. This is something I can't really get in Australia quality or can't really afford it. Do you want to them to go orange? Uh, no. Like what you can do is just buy a green one, buy an orange one, buy a middle one in the middle, and then taste each one, you'll see it work out. There's many different varieties as well. You know, so some are green when they're ready, some are orange when they're ready. We'll try it out. That's the beauty of this lifestyle. We try and get people to the market and show them what the deal is. So then when they go home, they learn. If we just give you food in a plate, it's hard to really go, oh, it tastes good, but you don't really learn how to select it. So that's why we try and get people out to the markets. So it's mango steam, purple is good, dark purple, and scaly is good as well. And that's not ready yet. It might be in a few days. Let's go next fruit. Is there any fruit people want to look at more, like what we're here? Yesterday we, we looked at pomelo. But if there's any fruit someone wants to learn more about, let us know.